Hey everybody, welcome back to my DIY uh, YouTube channel. So today I have a shameless plug for I guess Honda and Home Depot because I just want to do a, a unboxing and a quick demonstration of the uh, the item I just purchased. So I spent probably way too long researching and trying to figure out which lawnmower I should buy. Um, a little summary, we just moved in this house, as I'm sure you guys well know, and the, when the last location where we lived, I actually sold my old, old Craftsman lawnmower. I had been, we, I've had it for, had at that point since 07, and I sold it in 14, so a good seven years with that thing. It had definitely seen, been had, um, cars go by, definitely has had, had its uh, glory days and also it's bad things. Long, a couple years back, it, the pole string on it broke and I was having to, uh, what I call a uh, electric start on it with my screwdriver with a socket attachment just to the top of the actual you know, pole mechanism lever thing. So I was actually able to just use my screwdriver to start it. However, the screwdriver I had at the time wasn't very powerful. I only can get about two or three the maximum three starts on it before I had to recharge the, uh, the battery on the, on the, uh, on the uh, electric screwdriver. So while it worked, it wasn't very practical and you know, just with moving as I don't want to have to move a lawnmower, hey, let's just go ahead and sell it. So I sold it. Anyway, so now it's springtime and I need I needed a, a new one. So I started, started doing research. So I ended up with uh, this one here. I tell you the, uh, the model number, it's the HRX217 Victor Kilo Alpha. Uh, I'll, I'll open up in just a second here, but um, I don't really know what the model number means. In summary, from the research I was doing, it's a the engine is 190 cc's. It has it has the uh, the the motor the, the speed on it. It is of course self-propelled. Molden was just a push mower because it was we bought it in college when we were broke. Uh, it's called a select drive. You can set whatever speed you want it and then push down. It'll go at that speed. I was hoping to get the one that didn't have that. It was just as much as hard as you push it down. It's as fast it goes. Uh, but this is. This is what I had in stock, and I was like, well, let's might as well get it, get this one. So, I'll go ahead and unbox it now, and we'll get to it. All right, that was pretty quick. So here we go. This is the cleanest this thing will ever get. Will ever be, I should say. Anyway, so here it is. Um, manual with oil, awesome. Um, so obviously it has, um, I've seen some, some lawnmowers, just one of the actual uh, handles on the back section could raise and lower the whole whole thing. That seemed a little too advanced for, uh, for my taste. I'm still young, so I can, uh, I can actually change all four tires. Uh, I have in the past learned the hard way, and, hard way and didn't change one of the tires, so it was uneven mow. But uh, hopefully hopefully, I've since wised up since that, since I did that many years ago. But anyway, so here we go. Uh, the deck itself is not metallic. I forget the actual name of it. It was like the advanced neck sight something frame. It wasn't metal, so it's not gonna rust. That's a good thing. Nine inch tires on it. 
my old one, since it was just a push one, I elected to get the, the bigger tire on it to make it easier to turn. But this, this one being a, a rear real drive mower, I figured whatever. Uh, the engine itself, since it is the uh, whatever model number that was, it is the 190. I also, instead of getting the, the, the metallic frame, I got this one specifically because it was going to be the bigger engine. I like to do mulching, I don't like to bag it. Um, and with, I wanted a bigger engine for, for the mulching. I figured it'd be, I needed a little bit stronger engine to get all the mulch uh, done for, for the grass, especially how long the grass is right now. Um, here it is here. Um, there's the bag, the frame for that over yonder. Again, not much to it really. Um, this back section here, you can choose to actually um, get like a certain percentage of bag and mulch. So if I was, uh, wanted just a little like half bag half mulch I could actually do this and half the grass clippings would go in the bag and half would go on the ground Which actually is pretty cool. Um, I'm, I probably won't use that option, but it, it is it's still there. Well, it's also a cool thing with the Honda mowers The blade itself I can Tip this thing up here This blade down here, not sure how well you can see it There we go um, It's actually got two blades in one really One down, one up here, one down there. That's of course gonna get you a very, very fine grass clippings on this thing, which will be absolutely awesome. So anyway, um, so it just actually rained for about two hours. So I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna mow today, I'll mow tomorrow, but I'll go ahead and film that. I don't know why, but I, but I will. Show you just how, how it works. So like the first, the first pull on it, make sure it actually works correctly. And just give them, give my opinion on how that actually operates. So back here too, got a nice little uh, flap, whatever. Probably will fall off in a year, but got like to be honest, this actually feels pretty cheap. Like if, if it won't rust, that's great. It's because it's not metal. I don't know, it just doesn't feel very sturdy. That's just me. One cool thing here, I'm just realizing. If you look down in there. As I adjust the mulch feature, that's how it works. So right now it's fully mulched, going over to fully bagged. That's uh, that's kind of cool. And here's the uh, speed thing I was talking about for the uh, for the um, how it's going to operate. You have to obviously engage the blade handle to start it, um, and then pull it, of course. I, I don't need a key start for a lawnmower. Um, maybe I'm older, but we'll see. So then, and then from however fast you want the lawnmower to operate, you click into that control and then press down. And they'll go to that speed. So to change speeds, you have to re release this and change that. The other cheaper versions actually had, um, it, was a, it was just a pedal, like almost like a gas pedal really. And you press that gas pedal down and that changed how fast and slow it went. To me, that almost, this almost seems like a better feature. Having not used either one, I can't really say yes, yes or no, um, but we'll see. Anyway, so here it is. Uh, just, I'll go ahead and cut now to the, me using it probably tomorrow, and see you then. All right, here goes the uh, first start.
first pull starts right up. So uh, it's been actually probably over a week since I actually bought the lawnmower. Uh, and uh, it's been raining so much, I didn't want to use it when it's raining or with really wet grass. Um, kind of having no choice right now. The grass is pretty long. So we're, we're going to go ahead and start today on a number four setting, so four inches high. And if we, if we can go lower, we will after, after the initial pass. I don't want to ruin the grass on the, on the first attempt to, of cutting this. Since, this. since we bought this house back in November, we haven't, uh, definitely, didn't need, definitely did not need to mow the grass then. Not only now it's springtime, we can finally go ahead and start doing this. So, um, she's doing, she's gonna do just fine. Can't wait to get that stuff uh, nice and mowed because I'm sure my neighbors uh, want me to, to want me to mow that. So we'll we'll go and get going. Just like that, we are done. Took a, just a couple minutes, not too long at all. We're really happy with how, how it worked. It might, it might take some look, looking used to with the uh, that hand pedal, whatever, whatever they call it, to the uh, the variable speed thing. I like it a lot though. It's gonna, it's gonna work out just fine. So that's why I say thanks for watching uh, my DIY and have a good day everybody.